Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Thursday, August 10th. Everything we're doing right now is basically for the safety of the kids. It's the first day of school in Flagler County, and the district is working to ensure students get to and from school safely. Amy Cherry has our top story. The district's 94 school buses are all equipped with seat belts, and the newest ones have state-of-the-art technology. Odo Hayback is the coordinator of transportation and fleet services for Flagler Schools. We have now buses that have predictive stop arms. So that means that now if a car is coming towards the bus at a stop, that if the radar determines that if the car is too fast, it won't be able to stop in time, it actually gives a verbal warning to all of the children to not cross the road. All school buses also have cameras, but the newer ones have enhanced coverage. New (laughs) ones actually have 360 cameras on top, so the driver can actually see all the way around the bus completely. Haybeck says parents can also now track buses in real time using a district code and their child's student ID number. We use a company that provides us with GPS data live, and it also provides us with an app, which is called Here Comes the Bus. Once they have downloaded the app, they can actually track the bus. They can see the bus that's coming to pick up their child. They can see when it's about a mile away from where, from their bus stop. And the new technology also we are employing right now is, or we'll be starting actually beginning of this new school year, is scanning. So we're scanning IDs as the children children come as the students come on the bus and once they have scanned on the parents actually get a notification real time that their student has scanned onto the bus and the same thing when they scan off at the school this local news is a service of Flagler county's toyota dealer beaver toyota us1 st augustine here to wow you a massive jump. The state average is now at about $3.80 per gallon. And that's down ever so slightly from the $3.84 high we saw Friday. You can blame the heat. Mark Jenkins is the public relations manager for AAA Florida. The extreme heat is taking its toll on refineries, specifically along the Gulf Coast. When outside temperatures exceed 100 degrees or so, that can lead to a number of things like breakdowns, equipment failures, not to mention rolling electrical outages and severe weather that impact refinery operations. Jenkins puts the price hikes in perspective. Florida drivers were definitely walled by about three rounds of gas price hikes, rising about 20 cents each week for the past three consecutive weeks. So we're paying uh, just about 60 cents more per gallon compared to what drivers were paying back during Independence Day. But it's not all bad news. Jenkins says prices are starting to come down. There's some optimism on a couple of factors. First, kids are going back to school this week, which means that there's oftentimes kind of a downward shift in the gasoline demand. Thus, pricing can also move lower. We haven't seen prices this high at the pump since August of last year. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. It's time to think about updating your Alert Flagler account. Flagler County is urging residents to manage their free Alert Flagler accounts to receive the best service, which includes overnight quiet times, except for when tornado warnings and other protective action warnings are issued. Flagler County Emergency Management Director Jonathan Lord. It allows them to receive targeted emergency alerts for things like weather, missing persons, and evacuations, and things of that nature. However, we do need residents to sign up for that program. We want to truly encourage our residents to sign up for that program, but also for those that are signed up or are about to sign up, we also want them to realize that they have full control of when they receive alerts and which alerts, alerts they receive. Alert Flagler also allows enrollees to customize which devices and formats you want to receive the communication. Lord says probably the most important short list of alerts includes flash flood warnings, severe thunderstorms, tornado warnings, and extreme wind warnings. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. What does businessman Howard Holly see as a core value? Holly said on a recent episode of Business Minds Coffee Chat with host Jay Shear that it is to treat everyone with dignity and respect. I just am intolerant of misbehavior in that regard. When someone treats someone as if they aren't the CEO, or they treat them as if they're below them, or they treat them as if they don't deserve dignity, you're talking about flaring. That's the thing that gets me going because I'm passionate. Holly said it's the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Listen to Business Minds Coffee Chat with host Jay Shearer on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 830 or on the Flagler Radio app. Tomorrow, big questions. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.